Hey everyone, I'm excited to vlog about my first epilating experience. Now, to begin, I've never waxed any part of my body before, not even my face, not my armpits, not my legs, never. So to survive my first epilating experience, I was really proud of myself. And I, you know, I did it for the first time yesterday, and I was like really excited to like vlog about it right afterwards, but I told myself that maybe I should give it a day and just see like how my skin reacts after a day, how it looks the day after, um, see if like there's any stubble or whatever before I get back to you guys. And this is just going to be talking about my first experience, it's not going to be like a full on review because obviously I've only used it once so far and I think I should use it for at least like a few weeks before I come back and do a full on review. But okay, what I'm talking about is this. This is an epilator, they come in like different forms. Um, this is the MJoy Soft Caress and I first heard about these maybe like a year or two ago from Purse Buzz and she was talking about like epilating your underarms. I was so intrigued. I am one of those people who have always had issues with my underarm hair. Now I know this is going to be kind of like an embarrassing topic, but I know so many of us have the same issue. Have the same issue with, you know, underarm stubble, dark underarms, and it's annoying and it's embarrassing. Um, for myself when I shave, you know, I have to like wait for, <laughs> okay, I know I'm going to have to like get into detail, but I just hope you guys can relate with me here. Um, when I, you know, with my underarm, I have to like wait for the hair to grow out enough each time after I shave. So I can't shave like every day or every two days because my underarms just start feeling like very uncomfortable and it just looks terrible. Like the cleanest shave I get is when I wait like maybe um, three days or so after I shave and then I can shave again. And so also like when I first shave that day I'm good to you know wear something that shows my underarm and like I'm more comfortable but the day after and then the second day after you just start seeing like the stubble and it just grows out so quickly. So you can understand the pain there. It's almost like you have to be aware of like you know what you're wearing when you can shave um, and it's it's a hassle you know and I just want to feel like more comfortable especially now that it's spring and summer I don't want to have to worry about like my underarm hair growing and I can't wear you know like sleeveless shirts or whatever so I finally put the bullet and got one of these I got one for myself and for my mom on Mother's Day and I'm I don't know after experiencing it for the first time yesterday I thought like I really had to vlog about it okay so like I said, I've never waxed before. I mainly got this for my underarms, but yesterday I actually started using it first on my upper lip and chin hair. I have like some hair there. I had some hair, like, you know, little whiskers right there that I went ahead and just um, epilated. If you're wondering what an epilator is, it's like an electrical device like this that has a lot of tweezers. And it's gonna sound scary. I was so scared. Okay, this is like the first setting and then a higher setting. So I used the first setting. They say to use like the, you know, lighter setting on finer hair. So that's what I used for my upper lip and chin. And it did like pinch. It was like a pinching feeling, but it wasn't terrible because I do like epulate, epulate my upper lip with a spring epilator. Um, I should grab it and show it to you guys. Hold on. So if you guys remember, I did like a My Spring It review. They have similar ones just like this for a lot cheaper elsewhere, but you pretty much just go up and down like this and it pretty much like tweezes out your hair on your upper lip. And I really liked it. I would use it maybe like every week or so because you don't want to shave your upper lip. Now you get the same issue with like if you shave certain areas like your upper lip or your underarm. Um, you still have that hair underneath the skin that you can usually see, which is why it will still look dark. It will still look like you didn't even shave it um, when you did because you didn't pull the hair out at the root. So you can still see like, you know, that short stubble underneath the skin and then it grows out pretty quickly because it's right beneath the skin. It's not, it hasn't like been pulled out deeply. So um, yeah, I use this for a while, but now, you know, I think I'm going to stop using this and use this from now on because it's a lot quicker and it's just easier. Okay, and then after I did that, you know, I was trying to like get myself comfortable with this device because I was really, really intimidated. I just, I was so afraid of how much it would hurt. I had read so many reviews 
about how much it does hurt the first time. And, you know, but I told myself I had to just like muster up the courage to use it on my underarms because it's I needed it for myself. I was like just dying to tweeze all my underarm hair. So what I did to like kind of prepare myself is that I would grab a tweezer, just like a regular tweezer, and I would start tweezing out section, you know, little hairs here and there around my underarms to just kind of like get used to that feeling, that plucking feeling, because that's only one tweezer. You can actually like control which hair you're pulling out as opposed to this. It tweezes out multiple hairs at a time and yes, it hurt. It hurts so bad. And it took a really long time to complete both of my underarms because it would just hurt so much that I would have to like stop and then turn it on again and then stop, turn it on again. But after I had finished like doing both arms, I was so proud of myself and I was also really happy with the results. It was like worth all the pain. But if you're someone who's like who has a very low pain tolerance level, um, and you've never waxed your underarms before, maybe you want to like wax your underarms first and just get used to that pain before you use one of these. Great, it's getting darker outside now. Lovely. But anyways, I you know I don't want to get all graphic, but I really want to like those of you who've never like waxed or tweezed your underarms before and are interested in trying this out to like let you know what you're getting yourself into for you know when you use it for the first time. So because you know all these hairs from my underarm were getting yanked out for the first time, yanked out from the root from the first time. Yes, there was some bleeding. Um, I know, that sounds really scary, but I guess it's normal. It's like, you know, if you've ever uh, like tweezed your eyebrow hair for the first time, like it hurts a lot and then it oftentimes it will bleed. So it's not uncommon. Oops, that's my dog. <laughs> my underarms were very red and like sore um, for a while afterwards. It, it felt better maybe like a couple hours after it had, you know, epilated. But um, now today, if I touch my underarms, it's still a little sore, but it's not as bad. And it's, it is pricey. Um, I got mine off of Amazon for about, I want to say like around $55 or so. It actually, I think like retails for about like $70. So I felt like I got a pretty decent deal on it. But if you shop around, you'll see them on sale at different prices online. So that's about all I have to say about um, epulating for now. I've only tried it once and that was my first experience. I hope that this helps some of you guys out. If you've tried an epulator before, let me know how your first experience was and how, you know, how it is over the long run if you feel like it was totally worth the investment. I'm very, very happy with the results. Um, I'm not like fully comfortable enough to show you guys my armpits yet, but in the future, I, I hope to. I really do. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. So. And if you haven't, let me know if you would be interested in trying one, um, if you have the same issue as I do with underarm hair. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.